Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Transformers Fall of Cybertron Demo for the Sony PlayStation 3. Okay, what we're going to be doing before we get back into a couple of the multiplayer matches, we're going to take a look at create a character, and we're going to look around this thing a little more here. As you can see, I leveled up a little bit. I was just playing off the clock, doing a little something. So let's see here. What should we look at first? Guess we'll start with the Infiltrator. Just gonna go to the first level. Okay, so right now, we have the option to change our weapons, and each weapon comes with kind of a, a weapon upgrade. As you can see here, I'll check this out. And what this does is it uh, increases the amount of ammo within a clip. And our secondary gun, you know, the same goes. So we have like boosts for our weapons. That's kind of nice, right? And then, of course, we have uh, our special ability. I got Cloak on my uh, Infiltrator, on my Scout here, as you can see. Now, a lot of these, of course, are locked up because, you know, it's the demo, and that's how it goes. I can't really even equip anything there. But anyway, that is not all we can do here. We can switch it up to armor and give ourselves a custom job. This is pretty interesting. And we can start with the head. All right, I have it set at Saboteur right now, but you know, you can go to Recon, Rogue, Eliminator, all these different choices. <laughs> and you can uh, rotate around, you know, check it out, see what is to your preference. Oh my lordy, look at that thing. It's the Predator Head. <laughs> oh man, there's some uh, funky designs in this, I will say. Creeper, that's a creeper. It does kind of look creepy, I suppose. Elite. Oh, he's got the coronation crown on. I like that. But, you know, we can't really use any of those right now because it's set on the demo, locked down. But we'll get into that. You know, chest and vehicle. We can play around once again with our chest. Transform. Kind of show it off. Oh, man, look at these different styles of cars. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. It's really nice that they they added this into the uh, the next game, you know? It's something... I wouldn't say it was lacking in uh, Transformers War for Cybertron, but, you know, we couldn't do that much customization, I guess you could say, you know? Kind of cool-looking shoulders, different types. You know, everyone has a certain preference, right? Arms. I just want to kind of scan down, look at all the different types. Pretty cool, though. You can check out your legs. Oh, those are pretty nice. I like that. The assassin. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be picking a lot of assassin options for uh, <laughs> a couple of my characters. Wheels. Transform here. Here we go. Different wheels. Oh, man. Look at those. You know, they kind of look like Hot Wheel toy car wheels. Look at that. It's funny. Decals. Let's transform. There we go. Changes up. Armor set. Ah, oh, look at this. And just kind of gives you different types of uh, set armor types. Oh, that looks crazy. Weird color scheme on Jazz there. And once again, you can keep on going down, and now we can check out the personality. And, you know, just like War for Cybertron, it gives you the uh, ability to, you know, use different kind of paint jobs, I guess you could say. Kind of changes the color scheme. So that's kind of cool. Decepticon and Autobot. Uh, you can make them look a little more metallic or a little less metallic, I suppose. Let's see. Let's go all the way back down. I don't know. I uh, personally don't think it makes that much of a difference. I guess you have to really kind of study it. You can see it a little. You can see the changes somewhat. But, you know. Woof! <laughs> I kind of like that. Anyway, let's go back to personality and check out the voice. Yeah, we can kind of give a custom voice to our character. Uh, looks like I'm set at voice too. No more trouble out of him. Just aim and squeeze the trigger. Just aim and squeeze the trigger. 
Yeah, as you can see, they say the same things and they sound slightly different. And hopefully when the uh, official game is released, we can have more different types of voices than just three. I don't know. There could be more, there could be not. We'll have to find out. Decepticon target practice. He looks better ventilated. Uh, he looks better ventilated. So much for that guy. How much for that guy? <laughs> kind of funny differences. And of course you can rename your build if you so please. But anyway, that's just one. We can head over here. We can check out some of the others real quick, you know? Might as well show you. Here's the different heads. Oh, Soundwave head. Look at that. Ha! Huh. Oh my. Look at that. Nice. Awesome stuff. Parasite head. Optimus Prime wearing a coronation crown seems a little odd. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Wow, the, the customization you can give some of your custom characters, some of it just looks wrong. Like, Optimus Prime, you have a Soundwave chest on, and it just looks wrong to me. I don't know. But hey, I guess that's the options we're given. We're allowed to do what we want. Let's look at the armor sets here. All right, good stuff. We're gonna scan over to the Titan real quick. I just wanted to kind of breeze by, you know, all the classes real fast. Let's go through the heads. Oh, man. All right, nice stuff. Some of them, I say, look really cool. Some of them look familiar, you know, back from War for Cybertron. Some of them definitely look brand new. We haven't seen designs like these yet. Let's look at the shoulders real quick. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Now, let's head over to the scientist real quick, and we'll just look through the remaining armor customizations. Let's see. Here we go. We could go with the Guardian. Ah, right now I got it at Arclight. And, of course, if we unlock these someday, we can use these other ones as well. Look at the shockwave head. Oh, man. Kind of gives you an idea of what characters will be in the game, because some of them are somewhat obvious. Yeah, you know, when you see one of those faces, you're just like, ah, yeah, I know who that's going to be. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> Oh, it looks too skinny. Starscream, you look a little anorexic, buddy. Oh, God, that just looks bizarre, huh? Look at that. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, let's look at the shoulders real quick. Let's transform this one, too. Take a look at him. Different arms, a little bulkier, a little smoother, skinnier. Some of them are pretty nice looking. Let's look at the wings. Transform, look at the wings. Let's see the differences here. I like a nice looking jet, after all. I play as a scientist a lot. Ah, oh, some of these are pretty nice looking. Look at that. Let's go down to armor set. Take a look at how they look. All right, jet fire, star scream, air raid, vortex, oh my. Can't wait to play as the Chopper. That will be a lot of fun. That's a new thing for us. All right, Shockwave. Shockwave was one of my personal favorites in War for Cybertron, and he looks pretty similar. Oh, his arms look a little different. Got rid of that uh, arm cannon, didn't they? So anyway, I just wanted to quickly go through, show you the customization, you know, we can change the bodies around, we can pretty much mix and match and do whatever we want with them. We can do a little voice changing, and I, I thought that was a, a nice little thing they threw in there. So anyway, we're going to find another match in Conquest, and we're going to be doing some Conquest matches where we have to control multiple nodes, accumulate 400 points to win the match, so let's check it out. Let's do this. All right. 
Here we go. We're in a match. We're gonna be doing some conquest. Couple of names in here I recognize. At Array, of course. This time around, I think I'd like to switch things up and maybe be a different character. I'm thinking the Destroyer. Let's check this guy out. Let's see what he has to offer. Can't really load up much on him, but you know, you can kind of check out his stats. See what damage, his range on his weapons, what they can do. If I level up a little more, maybe I can put on another ability. Help me out. Alright, here we go. Let's begin this match, baby. So I've had little experience with this guy. I'm gonna see how this goes. But you gotta get used to all the characters. Even if you kinda, you know, like certain characters, I, I feel like you gotta play as all of them to see how it goes. Okay, ooh, interesting transform. This guy has crazy power wheels. Look at these things. Whoa, hey! <laughs> Stepped on that. That's a really cool thing. I like it, by the way. Just kind of shoots you up. It's pretty interesting. It's probably not in every map. I assume just this one. You know, other maps may have different gimmicks, and that could be kind of cool. I, I would like to see that, you know, when the game comes out officially. Ah. It blew me up. That guy is launching that gun. What gun is that? As far as the demo has gone, there's been a couple signs of shadiness. <laughs> At least I shut him up. But yeah, a couple signs of shadiness. But that's just the way it goes. There's always one or two rotten apples that get in there. Try and spoil the bunch. But I am a fucking golden apple. And I ain't having none of it, man. Hmm, let's try and get around here. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, there we go. Shut him up. We are losing C. We are it's kind of awkward how you have to walk around that to get to the capture point. Of course, there is that little space where you can kind of get into and you can capture it from that side. Now, being this big, it's kind of troubling to move around. I think I'm doing okay here. Have a couple kills. Oh! Oh, I tried to finish him off before going. Conquest is, well, it's pretty, it's pretty much conquest, you know? One thing I've noticed is that the A, B, and C icons are kind of smaller than I would have preferred. I kind of like how, you know, when you're nearing a node, it kind of shows you how close you're getting or how far away you are to it. But they are pretty small. And also, one thing I have to comment on, when we're losing a node, like right now we're losing B, I wouldn't say it's hard to tell, but, you know, slightly a little difficult to kind of realize, oh, that thing's blinking. Because the icon is just a little small, but I don't know. Maybe it's just something you got to get used to. That's just the way it goes. Sometimes you got to get used to stuff. Things change. Ah. <laughs> this guy's jumping around. Ah, come on, work gun. Mm, I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> These robots drop like rag dolls when they're beaten. We are capturing A. Right now we got a bit of a lead. I like the transform, I like the driving. I don't know if this is permanent, but there's like no boost to make me go a little bit faster when I'm driving. You know, when I was a jet, I noticed I couldn't do any barrel rolls. When I was a scout or infiltrator, I couldn't do any flips, you know, as I was driving. I couldn't do any of that. No special moves when you're in vehicle mode. I don't know, once again, if this is permanent. I just think it would be silly for the R2 button to do nothing while you're in your vehicle mode, though. 
But we'll see how it goes. Ah, the old fusion cannon. Of course, it was called, I believe, a, a riot cannon, it said. Yeah. Come on! Oh! Was targeted right on that dude. Look at the sentry. Sentries look interesting, don't they? Jump out the window. Ah, oh, there you go. Sometimes you get stuck trying to drive out through those. You gotta time it right. Oh, something's hitting me. What's hitting me, man? Ah, oh, it's coming up from behind me. Oh, this guy. Let's see if we can try and take him out. Jump up here. Or down here, or back up here. Shoot from above. Maybe you won't notice me. What's he doing? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Can I finish him? Ah! Oh! Got an assist. Sweet assist. I've noticed that you can get different types of assist points, you know? You can get like a major one or a minor one. That's kind of cool, I guess, I suppose. As far as points go, you know, at first they're very important to you because you want to get points, you want to level up. So even minor assists can help you out, just a little bit. Every point counts, man. This guy is a jumper. I'm pretty sure I'm having deja vu with this guy. Oh, he's activated a, a healing ability thing there. Ah. It's not good for me. Dave is damaged. Oh, let's... Yeah, you see, I can just kind of squeeze in there. I can't get through as this guy. It's this big guy. He can't fit through that, but he can still obtain the capture. Oh, man, you know, playing at this map again and again, you really kind of learn it more and more. <laughs> you know, when the game is officially released, everyone is going to be like, Oh, man, Array? Well, I know this one. I am comfortable with this. No, but seriously, I am real excited to just check out every single map that comes out. I am looking forward to all the fun little things they're going to throw at us. You know, like I said, this little jump up gimmick thing that they put in this one. I mean, that's a lot of fun. That's kind of cool. It can help you evade enemies. It can be used for certain strategies of combat. That's really nice. It's cool. There was one right there behind me, too. Let's just drive around here. Not a lot of action. There's always parts in a map, no matter what you're doing, I feel, that there's just not a lot of action going on. You know, it could be Team Deathmatch, Conquest, you know, Code of Power, whatever you're playing. There's just not a lot of enemies that's going to be around there. Oh, I am out of ammo with this gun. Oh, yeah, there we go. hoo -ah! ah, Dave is injured. I regained my little shield there, but as you can see, my health has uh, fallen quite a bit. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Mass Effect 3, that kind of system, that setup. Not that, you know, it's the only game to ever do that. Plenty of games, I'm sure you have examples. But that's just what it reminds me of, that one game. There's another one of those boosted... Another one of them jumpers! Good place for a barrier right there protects us from one out of three of the sides. Alrighty. There's a big hole here. Look at this. Hmm. That could be used to ambush enemies, I suppose. And as always, with conquest rules, this is my philosophy. As long as you control two out of the three, you're going to have a victory. That's all you got to do. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. He's jumping down on him. He had no shot. Oh, this guy was cloaked. Ah, assist. But that's okay, we just captured A and we're holding two out of the three. Two out of the three. That's what you gotta do. I guess I'll just go... Oh! Host migration, migrating online session. And I gotta tell you, I was hoping this might happen. This is a big key for Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Something that they put in to make online play a little better. Now, if a host were to quit or, you know, maybe got disconnected, most likely Rage quit, the game wouldn't be over. It would be salvaged. It would be saved. So, the host is gone. And what it's going to do, it's going to locate a new host. In this case, I think it might be me. I don't know. It could just be showing my name because this is me. But let, let's say for 
example case that it is me. I could be the new host, and then they bring in all the people again. And I'm pretty sure same teams. I recognize those names on my team still. So yeah, same teams. And the match is about to start again. That is pretty nice. So they just kind of set us down. Same points, same captures, same stats. I mean, if it happens while you're in the middle of battling someone, eh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. But still, I gotta tell you, way to go, High Moon Studios. A nice upgrade. Oh, look at this guy. Ha, ah, I got him. A uh, very nice upgrade. I gotta tell you, if this was in Transformers War for Cybertron, oh, so many great games could have been salvaged. You know, you always play that one game in War for Cybertron, you're doing great, you know, you're just in the groove. You just feel in the motion, you're feeling the flow. You, you got everything is working for you, basically. It's like 15 kill streak or something, and all of a sudden, oh, host quit, host disconnect. You're screwed. You're like, oh man. I mean, sometimes it saves the uh, the progress for you. It saves the stats. Still, it's frustrating, you know. So, in conclusion. Kudos. Good job, High Moon Studios. I like that they put that in there. That's really nice. Seems to got this pattern. I'm going from like A to B to C. <laughs> While occasionally running into an enemy. Uh, let's try and get this guy. Oh, he nailed me with that one. Oh! I used my ability too late. We have lost C. Oh, no. It's getting a little crazy. We're up uh, 315 to 194 there, so we're pretty comfortable. Hmm. I don't recall going that way too often. I wonder why they chose this map to put in the demo, by the way. I wonder what made them think. Hey, how about Array? We'll throw them this one. I guess because Array offers you a little bit of everything, I suppose. Wide open area in the middle, you know, you can look up and see the sky, it's spaced out. And then the compartments around on the sides and... Alright, can I... can I get up here? I'm... okay, I'm a little stuck right now, guys, I gotta tell you. Hello! I can't move. Let's try and transform. Well, that's not really helping either. <laughs> okay, I don't know. It happens. I kinda got stuck. I couldn't get off the bouncing thing. What's going on with that? Hmm. We are capturing we are capturing a. Uh, let's pick up this upgrade. Intercooler. Pretty cool you can pick those up. Get abilities. Help out your stuff. Ugh, getting a little... Ugh. Let's get these wheels on right. Oh, there he is. Up. Oh. Yeah, that little hole right there is a great ambush place. <laughs> We're all going to have to watch out for that one in the future. Well, it looks like this match is just about done. This is one of my first attempts using this guy. I did okay. He's alright, not bad. You know, of course, we don't have all the abilities to show because this is the demo and it's locked down. Let's see if I can get the C. Can I drive through here. Here we are. Level up, level four. Maybe I can put on another helping ability. I usually don't drive through this right there next to me. I don't go down in there. I wonder if there's anything in there. A lot of activity behind me. Come on, man! Ah! A couple more points and this match is over. It's nice you get points for assists, but at the same time, you all know how uh, <laughs> annoying assists can be sometimes. I got a lot of assists, too. Alright, there you go. Good stuff. Our team won. We did alright. And we lost C. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I wonder why it does that at the end. That's kind of funny. So let's see. We're going to go back to the menu here before our next match starts. And I believe I'm going to do another match, you know? Where are we going to be playing at? Oh, I think Array. How about that? What's the game? Oh, the game is going to be a Conquest. And it might be the same character, you know? Let's, let's go again. Maybe I can do a little better this time. 
When I play Conquest, I, I really try and make it a focus to play Conquest. I know that may sound bizarre, but I like to capture the nodes, I like to secure victories, that's just how I roll with it. Some people play it differently, like it's a, a team deathmatch or something. I don't quite follow that. Alright, I think I'm ready to go. Teams! Five on four, starting off, but that's okay. After each firefight, be sure to reload your robot and vehicle weapons to prepare for the next battle. Of course! So once again, I'm gonna choose Destroyer. Good stuff. Let's do it. Come on, pick your guy. Conquest! Capture the Energon nodes! Let's see, where should I hunt to? Man, I'll go this way. Let's just go this way. Maybe I can ambush someone. It's not that far away. Come on, I can pick up this upgrade. We have lost C. Intercooler helps me out. Put up my barrier. Oh, hello. Man, you're looking really scrunched down. <laughs> I don't know if that was just the angle I was looking at him, but he looked kind of funny, you know? Oh, hello! Whoa. You want to get on this side, please? There we go. Come on. Where'd you go? like the smoke effects. That's pretty cool. Oh! Got him. Energon Cube, where are you? You gotta play these maps a lot. You gotta learn where things are. Oh! Yeah. I'm starting to learn where all the Energon Cubes are. Kind of on the corners. Oh, look at this thing. Shoot at me. There we go. We are capturing A. We are losing C. Hmm. We have lost B. Well, that's no good. And we're losing C? Put up that barrier. B. You know what I really like? You see my uh, ability in the bottom right corner? You see how it's kind of counting down? Counting down till when the we barrier will go C. away? It gives you a time limit of how long your ability is going to be in effect. And then, you know, the, the timer will restart and it'll, it'll go up and, well, you'll know when it's back. I really like that a lot. Similarities between the last one, but, you know, some, some upgrades to showing you when your abilities are going to be around, when they're going to be gone, when you can use them again. So yeah, a lot of little improvements. Little improvements. And I like to say, you know, little improvements make a good game, you know? It's all about the little small things. Buy a match so far until this guy. Oh! Woof! Barely getting away with it. They're taking me down. But not down enough. Hmm. Oh, this guy, he's coming after me. I'm in bad condition though. Oh, oh no, not the whirlwind. And he was recharging. Sometimes you just gotta stay and fight no matter if your health is almost gone or not, man. You just gotta stick with it. Pick that up in vehicle mode, which is nice. Alright. Keep my eyes open. Ah, uh, oh, he's putting up a barrier. Oh, what are we gonna do, man? We're a little stalemated. What are you, are you gonna come through or? Oh, now this guy. Oh, man, they're ganging up on me. I don't like this. Come on. Ah, I took care of that guy at least. I like how they twitch when they explode in the pieces. Alright, where am I? I'm over here. We're down by a little, but it's no big deal. <laughs> Let's not use that this time. I'm afraid to get stuck on it. It could happen again. I don't know what was going on with that. One thing about this barrier, I don't know if you can shoot underneath the little wedges, those three wedges. Can you shoot underneath them? Seems like a, a faulty spot or two, or, well, three. Ah. Well, I'm over at A already. And we'll stick with it. Hmm. We have lost C. Oh, here he comes. We Win or lose, we captured it. We let's jump a. up here. Oh, he's coming after me. All right, let's do it, man. Oh! 
He let out a groan at the end. Ah, there we go. Get through that. Hmm. What's this? Energon Recharger. That'll help me out. Next fight I get into, I'll, uh, I'll use that right away. We only have one control right now, which is a problem. Oh, someone's after me. Oh boy, here we go. They're both after me. Come on! There we go, that's one. Where's the other one? Oh no. Oh! It's a friendly whirlwind. That's good. Here comes another. Gotta tell you, the Energon Recharger thing really helps you out. It gives you a nice advantage. <laughs> Where are you going, man? We're both going this way. Let's do it! I like going out the windows. I don't know why. Maybe because we're not meant to go out windows. Not really. I find that I don't do the running move a lot. It's just something that I'm just going to have to use more and more. Maybe because it's just something new. Oh, someone died. No one's going to come around here. Oh, hello. Alright, good stuff. And, you know, this time I'll go around the windows. I'll be able to get the C in time. Oh, uh, excuse me. This guy's a little bulky. A little bulky. I like the smooth riders a little more than the big guys. Maybe I could have gotten there in time. What is this? This guy's asleep. Where'd he go? Oh, oh damn that thing. Man, he took off, didn't he? That sentry's a pest. Make sure to get rid of that sentry right away. Cause that thing can be annoying. You gotta make sure to get it. Oh, he's back. Probably got a cube. Ah! Come on. Come on, I'm not going down. Swing and a miss! Oh, and that's a hit. I guess. There's a score right now. All the stats. We're just barely behind. We can come back. Come on. Still only have one of the three. That's a no-no. That goes against Dave's teachings. Come on, guy. We gotta get over there, man. We gotta do this. I need ya. Don't get stuck. Alright, here we go. Don't touch that thing by accident. Man, you could be almost done a capture, and you could accidentally step on the little jump portal thing, <laughs> and you'd be like, oh, my capture. Oh, it'll happen. It'll happen to us all, at least once. And we'll all be very annoyed. By the way, something I really haven't shown is that we can we can switch arms. We can be a uh, lefty. We can fire from the opposite way. Just for an experiment, until my next death, I'm going to fight that way. Something I haven't announced because ugh, it's just like not my thing. I just don't know how anyone could fight this way. It just looks awkward to me, and, uh, and there I'm dead. But yeah, if you hit the circle button, you can change your arms. It's kind of kind of nice. I mean, personally, I'm not going to use it, but I think it's nice that they put it in there because certain people might prefer it that way. You know, lefties. Hmm. Alright, well, we got two of the three. Oh, come on. Gotta be doing a little better driving here. There we go. Let's... Oh, man. I didn't tell we were losing that. I lost track. <laughs> I just find it so... Oh, look at this guy just standing here. Goodbye. I find it so weird. I said this before that we have to walk around to get to that capture. It's just kind of laid out in a little odd way. Unless you come from that way, I guess. Come on over here, dude. The more people at a conquest node, the faster you capture the node. Pick that up. Some people don't realize this. And I first started playing Warp Cybertron, it took me, you know, a match or two or three to realize that myself. Everyone has to realize it. But yeah, the more people around the node, it, it's just better. It helps. I haven't done a lot of... Oh, I see it. I haven't done a lot of vehicle killing. Whoa! Oh, didn't mean to step on it that time. Get down there. Uh, assist. Oof, man. I mean, they show you numbers, too. My health says 42. That is bad. I have a shield, but still, I'm in big trouble. Let's get this. Hmm. 
to get over to B again. We have lost C. Ah, we are just too slow with this guy. We are capturing B. I always like to be someone fast. I just believe that, you know, when you're the fastest guy in Conquest, you're the fastest to make a difference in the match. Ah, come here. Oh. Oh, we're jumping around. Come on, man. Oh, we got me. Still just behind by a little bit. About 40 points. Ugh. Odd spawn. Okay, don't get stuck. <laughs> I bet it'll happen again. Oh, whoa, hello. That guy was running for his life and he ran into me. <laughs> like a one-hit kill. Can't go wrong with that. Let's go down through this. Ah, hello. What do we got down here? Nothing much, I guess. At least right now. Okay, where am I off to? Oh, come on. Come on, drive, man. We are capturing A. We are gonna capture A. Capturing node going up real fast. <laughs> it's just so weird. Like, I'm basically Optimus Prime, and his color scheme is all just wrong. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. I suppose it'll be uh, a little better when we have the, you know, ability to fully customize our character, you know, when we're not locked out into doing so, and we can just give him any head, any chest, any legs, arms, anything we want. You know, create our own robot. Color schemes, of course. Oh, oh, he's coming after me. Woof, assist. Yeah, I'll take it. And I leveled up again. Right now, we have all three. That's nice. Oh. oh! I was just about to say, I saw it blink and we're losing B. And I have to get used to the small icons. And get this back. I'll take this side, man. You keep a lookout over there. Yeah, when you and your teammates are capturing a node, you know, you always have to take one end. You gotta rely on your teammate to take another. Watch each other's backs, baby. You gotta watch out. Right now, we've taken the lead. We're lost A. I don't think I could get the C in time, even if I could stop it. My oh, guy's cloaked. Where do you go? Oh, there he is. Coming at. Oh! Oh! Scores. We're up by a couple points. Can I spawn, please? Thank you. Spawn me already. This is a close match. If anything, it's going to be a good ending. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good ending. This is a bad ending. Excuse me. Ah, get off of that. Just just throw me up. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's looking at me like, what is going on, man? What is what's happening? Okay, we got two. And we're up by a few. We are losing A. Let's see. I'm just gonna get over to B. Fifty points remaining. Fifty points remaining. Good stuff capture this one real quick. Oh, I think I should grab this, though. We have lost a. Ah, Sentry, get out of here. We, are capturing B. 50 points remaining. we lost one, but if I get this, if we get this we real quick, a. come on. We're capturing A, we're capturing B. We have captured B. I want to get a win. I like winning, we are losing especially C. in my recorded matches. Excuse me, fella, I seem to be stuck on top of you. That could be an issue. That could be an issue in the future. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna get to A. We have lost C. Oh, we lost C. I didn't see it. We need to capture one. This won't do. Ugh. Can I get over that? Just run. Run to it. Come on, help him out. All right, there we go. Let's capture this. Woof, look at that spin. You see that crazy whirlwind effects? That's kind of cool looking, actually. Real cool looking. All right, we captured it. Oh, he's jumping. Oh! Ah. The important thing is we captured it. Well, this match really went to the, uh, the bitter end there. We got about a minute and a half left in the match. We are up by about 10 points. I'd say that this is over and done. It looks like we have a nice win. I showcase this character. You know, he's not bad. 
I prefer the others, but he's he's good. Gained a couple levels. Let's look at the scores. Oh, I'm up there. Seven across, baby. Not a lot of action, but hey, you know, I did a lot of scoring. And I consider that the most important thing out of it all. Whoa, migrating online session. What happened? Maybe I wasn't the host. Well, that's okay. I guess it just shows you as the player every time. Woof, all right, good stuff. I enjoyed that. That was nice. I like Conquest a, a whole lot. You know, like I said, it was one of my favorites out of the uh, War for Cybertron multiplayer matches. You know, it's brought back. It's pretty much the same thing. And, hey, it's still great. It's still great. It's still fun. Liked it a lot. But, you know, there is still one character I haven't uh, gone with. But I think I'm going to show that next time, and we'll get to the Titan. And I think we'll do a little more Conquest or Team Deathmatch. It doesn't matter. But we'll show that off. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it a wrap here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I am Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. And stay tuned for the next part of Transformers Fall of Cybertron. I will see you guys next time. I am out.